Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Okay, I need to see your faces on, please. Your cameras on, not faces. Okay. So we got Sean, Devin, Tanya, Sim, Jolene, Charmaine, and Blue Fang. That's it for today, really. What happened with the other ones? Devin, how are you? Good. Okay, sweetie, do you think that's enough to tell? Do you think that's enough? Not really. Okay, so fix your answer, please. I'm fine, thank you. Good. What did you do today? I do my homework today. I did my homework today. I did my homework today. Okay, anything else? And I play chess with my sister. Good, and who won? My sister. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Tanya Sin, how are you? Mm, I'm good today. Good, and what did you do? I play badminton with my sister in the evening. Okay, good. Then who won? Who was better? Mm, I think it's me. Okay, good. Did you have fun? Yes, it's fun. Why is it fun? Because I like to play badminton. Okay, all right. What else do you like to do? Mm, playing piano. I like playing piano. Okay. Good, sweetie. Really, thank you. Jermaine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me today? No. That's it. Uh, okay. Yes, sweetie, really, go on. There's no No. Okay, so I feel like you don't really want to talk. We're going to change that. Now I'm going to ask you to open your notebooks and to write six questions. Six questions you're going to ask some of the friends over here or potentially me. So you need to write six questions. Your questions shouldn't be like, uh, how old are you? That's not a question we want to know. We want to know a little bit more, okay? So you can ask, for example... Sorry, teacher, I made my alarm didn't go off. That's okay, sweetie. No, it's fine. No worries. You're here. So you can ask, for example, do you like to eat breakfast in the evening, for example? Or do you eat breakfast food for, for dinner or something like that? I need you to make six interesting questions. You're going to ask some of your friends over here or maybe me. But don't make simple questions. I don't want to hear what's your favorite color. We don't want that. Okay. So six questions. Write them down. Once you're ready, give me thumbs up so we can uh, we can go through the questions. Also, another thing, um, from now on, from today, I don't want you to text me. I want you to open your microphone. First, you raise your hand. And when I call you, you can open your microphone and tell me what you want to say, what you want to ask me. No more texting as of today, because some of you really like to text, but you don't want to speak, and we want to fix that, okay? So as of today, anything you want to text me, you actually need to raise your hand. I will call your name, you open your microphone and tell me what you want to tell me. 
Now you can ask me something unless it's private and you don't want someone else to know. Otherwise, no. Let's practice speaking, not texting.
Adam, may I know what's going on with your camera? Meredith, that's okay, sweetie. You need to make six questions. Any kind of questions that you can ask. Okay, Adam, thank you.
Teacher, may I go to the toilet? Yes, you can. Who is done with the questions? Anyone done? Okay, Tanya Sin is ready, Devin is ready. Adam, you're supposed to write questions, six questions. And as I said, from now on, no texting. You need to open your microphone and speak. So you need to make six questions. Okay, let me see one more time who is ready. I saw Devin, I saw Tanya Singh, Charmaine. Who else is ready? Olivia is ready, okay. Julian, Mer Sean is ready, Lua Feng is ready. Okay, so Adam, Julian, and Meredith. Let's give them one more minute. All right, let's start with Devin's question. Devin, pick a student and ask your question. Sean, what's your favorite celebration? Sean, there is a question for you. Sean, hello. Pardon? There is a question for you.
Sean, Devin asked you a question. Can you answer his question, please? What's your favorite celebration? Christmas. Okay, Sean, do you think that was a good answer? Well, I cannot hear you very well. Do you think that's a good answer? No, oh, I don't think so. Okay, can you make it better? Yes. Okay, so the question was, what is your favorite celebration? What should you say now? My favorite celebration is Christmas. Much better. Well done. Thank you. Devin, keep going with questions. What do you usually do after school, Olivia? Olivia, there's a question for you. Sorry, you teacher. Is a bit bad. That's okay. The question is for her, Livia, not for you. Oh. Sorry, Parson. What do you usually do after school? I usually eat dinner in the car after school. Okay, what's the best gift you've ever received, Tanisi? Pardon, I can't hear clearly. What's the best gift you've ever received? Mm. I think it's piano. Okay. If you, you could live anywhere, where would it be? Sure. Pardon? If okay, you guys. Could live so, anywhere... Hold on. Devin, Devin, sweetie, one second. The problem, guys, is you are doing something else so when someone says the question and then they say your answer, you're full with surprises because you're not focused. So whatever you're doing over there, if you're playing a game, if you're doing something, switch everything off. I need your full attention here, okay? Because you just keep saying pardon, 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 but I can hear Devin clearly. So I can understand Devin. I can hear him. He doesn't have problem with his connection. So everyone else, leave whatever you're doing. Focus on here and don't say pardon all the time. Just focus on the Sorry. question. Devin, let's go one more time. Who is the student and what was the question? Charmaine, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, I think it's China. Okay, tell us why. Make it better. Mm, because there is there there are there are some beautiful scenery. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What's your biggest fear, Julie? I didn't hear the question, Devin. What's your biggest fear, Julie? What is your biggest fear? Okay. My biggest fear is hate, heights. 
heights. Okay, cool. And the last question is, what's the most boring film you've ever watched, teacher Natasha? Ah, the most boring film. Uh, um, actually, I've seen a lot of boring films if I'm being honest, but the last time I watched a boring movie or a boring film was, I think it was like two weeks ago. I can't remember the name of the movie, uh, but it was, it was about a guy who was living somewhere in America and he was like a fighter or something, but the movie was just so boring. Like, I love action movies, but that one was just horrible, but that was like two weeks ago. I can't remember the name. It was something with fight, fight, feisty, feisty Rob, something like that. Can't remember. But okay, Devin, well done with the questions. Good job. Charmaine, your turn. Uh, Olivia, do you shopping with your friend before? No, I haven't done that before because I'm not old enough. And then, what time do you do your homework? I usually do my homework at the night. Uh, Isi, Isi, what time do you sleep every night? I sleep at 9 o'clock every night. Do you have to wash the dishes by yourself? Yes, I wash my dishes. I wash the dishes by myself every time. Devon, what is your favorite video game? My favorite video game is Roblox. Um, Marinden, do you have to clean your room every morning? Who are you asking, Tweety? Marinden. Meredith, the question is for you. Meredith, we can't hear you. Okay, Charmaine, change the question to someone else. Meredith's microphone is not working. Uh, Sean, do you have to clean your room every morning? Okay, cool. Sean, the question is for you. Sean. Sorry, what? Charmaine, ask him the question again, please. Do you have to clean your room every morning? No, I do not have to clean my room every morning. Okay. Charmaine, that's it? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, let's choose... Who is next? Who is next? Um, okay, let's see. Tanisi, let's hear your question. <laughs> Julie, what do you eat from breakfast? 
I sometimes eat cereal for breakfast. Okay. Charmaine, where do you usually go on holiday? I usually go to Germany to shopping and buy some clothes. Okay. Olivia, who did you meet? Who did you meet yesterday? Yesterday, I met my teacher and my classmate. Mm, David, how often do you do sport? Every day. Mm. The last question is, Sean, what do you like doing with your friends? Sean? Sean. Sean is not here. Okay. All right. That was a good warm up. However, we're going to continue with a little uh, slightly different exercise, slightly different. So within this exercise, I send you the file. However, if you can open it, that's fine. If you cannot open it, make sure you're having a piece of paper or your notebook and just draw this very quickly. We're going to practice a little bit of vocabulary. Okay, so I'm going to give you 10 letters and in each of the gaps over here, you need to put a name, any kind of name, boys, girls, name, doesn't matter, country, a noun. Over here, you have an explanation. What is a noun? Then a verb, then an adjective with the same letter, then an adverb, and then at the end, we're just going to count the points. Okay, so... First of all, we're going to start with a couple of letters. I'm going to choose, let's say, um, Olivia, pick a letter, please. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can anyone open? Uh, can everyone, each one of you open this file? Yes. Can you type in it? Can you type in it? Yes, you can. All right, cool, perfect. So you have it. Now let's put, first we're gonna put five letters and after that we're gonna add up five more. So Olivia, pick a letter very quickly. Okay, um, B. B, Julian, pick a letter very quickly. A. Devin, pick a letter very quickly. L. Okay. Teacher Natasha, I can't open the link. You can open it. It's yeah. a file. Oh, yeah. I can't open the file. Okay, in that case, just write them down in your paper. That, that's fine. Don't worry about Thank it. It's okay. Thank you. Uh, Meredith, pick a letter. C. C, okay. And uh, Charmaine, pick a letter. E. E, all right. So you need to write a name with these letters, countries, a noun, a verb, an adjective, an adverb. Adverb will be the trickiest, but let's see. Let's see how you're going to deal with it. And at the end with point, you put nothing. So we're going to see how many correct answers you're going to have. And therefore, we're going to go from there. So I will give you a couple of minutes. Maybe probably you're going to need five minutes. Whoever is ready, thumbs up. Okay, so we can add up the bottom letters.
How many of you are ready? Give me thumbs up, give me reaction. How many of you? None of you? Tricky. Okay, so Devin is ready. How about the rest of you guys? I'm gonna add up some extra letters for Devin. So if you finish these ones, please continue. Okay, so I'm gonna add up something else. I will add up letter N, letter O, letter W, letter A, And letter G. So this is a little bit of challenge. So you can check out your vocabulary, how comfortable you feel with the vocabulary. Obviously, the words shouldn't be too complicated. I mean, if you know them, that should be fine. But if you don't know them, what is the first thing that crosses your mind?
maybe I can put some adverbs over here for you. So, because I know adverbs will be the hardest. Maybe I can put some of them over here. Let me see. Mm. Okay, for example, for W, weekly. Maybe for, what else should I put? I wanna give you the hardest one so you wouldn't, you wouldn't get scared of them. Okay, so. Maybe for A, I can give you accidentally. Okay, let's see what else. Maybe for G, I can give you gradually. I think the nouns and the verbs should be easier. Countries and names as well. I feel like adverbs will be a little bit challenging because you don't because you don't really use them as much, but I want you to learn them because they are important. Maybe for E, we can say eventually. For L, maybe we can say lazily. For B, for B, we can say badly. Okay, for H, okay, H will be hopelessly. Hope, hopelessly. For C, uh, carefully. For N, we can say normally. And for O, let me see. O is a little bit challenging. Let me think of something. O, O, O. Um, does anyone have an adverb with O? No. No, not yet? Okay. Uh, hey, obviously, obviously. <laughs> um, Obviously, you're using this one, right? You're using it quite well, not every one of you, but some of you are using Over it. Time. Ob obviously, so you have the adverbs for me. For what me? about overtime? Overtime, uh, it should end up with ly. 
Oh, okay. This is how we recognize the adverbs. Because if you pay attention, overwhelming. Much overwhelming, yes. Optionally, uh, what else? Originally, also that's an adverb as well. So usually, guys, adverbs, they end up with L-Y. I say most of the time because there are some exceptions. However, now you have a list of 10 adverbs from me, but you need to give me adjectives, verbs, nouns, countries, and names. So those of you who are ready, just give me thumbs up. In a couple of minutes, you're going to have some break. Do we copy the adverbs? Pardon? Say it again. Do we copy the adverbs? Well, if you don't have any adverbs, I suggest you do, yeah. So as we said, the adjective explains the noun. The first thing that crosses my mind when I think about B is big. How about H? I'm thinking about hungry. How about L? Lovely. Maybe love. Pardon? Say it again. Lovely. Lovely. lovely girl okay that also could be an adjective uh an adverb okay how about c cute that's an adverb uh that's an adjective how about e we can say enormous enormous means something big enormous how about N? We can say naughty. Naughty girl, naughty boy. How about O? We can say oval. So not circle, but oval. Oval shape. How about W? Anyone has an uh, adjective with W? Well, W-E-L-L. -L. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Wonderful, wild, yeah, okay. How about an adjective with an A? Huh? Amazing. Amazing, okay. And how about with a G? Don't forget colors are also adjectives. Green tree, so green will be an adjective as well. Okay, let's take a look at the verbs. The verb with the B, I would say bark. How about H? Hunt. How about L?
like. It's also a verb. How about see? Climb. Climb, okay. How about? How about E? Earth. What is E? What is E? I didn't hear that. Eat. 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 Okay, perfect. Easy peasy. How about N? Nod. Nod your head. Nod. <laughs> How about O? Obey. Okay. Obey, or you can also say observe. It's like looking, but it's observing. Observe. Observe. Well done, Sean. Obey. How about W? Will wonder work work -A. wonder okay all right cool we have a lot of them very well how about a, a, a verb with an a entertain but that's an e oh okay. <laughs> which one a B O R T A B O R T abort Yes Okay let's find something else Attract Attract okay And the last one is G Give. Give. Okay. All right. Guys, let me give you a short break, five to seven minutes, and then we're going to put the nouns, and then we're going to make another simple exercise, and we're going to go back to our book because we need to speak about going to. So first, first things first, please take your break, five to seven minutes, be back, and we'll continue.
Okay, can we get back, please? Okay, camera's on, please. Yes, thank you. So, cool. Now we have a couple of uh, adjectives, couple of adverbs, couple of verbs. Now, I don't know what kind of names you have over here, what kind of countries you have here, and what kind of nouns you, hear, you have here. That is up to you. I'm going to give you one example, and I'm going to ask you to make three sentences only, okay? So, look, let's say I'm going to put over here maybe Bob. The country will be Brazil. And the noun will be uh, book. So now what I can do is I need to use one name, one country, one noun, one verb, one adjective, and one adverb to make a sentence. So look what I'm going to write over here. I'm going to say, you don't have to go with the same letter. You can combine them, okay? But I just have Bob, so I'm going to go. Bob, oops, is from Brazil, and he loves to, do I have, he loves to, let's choose a verb, okay, he loves to hunt, He loves to hunt enormous, enormous, maybe animals. Now, because I haven't used an adverb and the adverb describes the verb, let me fix my sentence. Bob is from Brazil and he loves to hunt enormous animals. How? carefully so i'm gonna add up carefully you see so now what i did is in my sentence i use an adverb i use an adjective i use a noun a country and a name so you don't have to go with just b okay you can say a name starting with b and a country starting with e and a noun starting with f doesn't really matter as long as long as you're using name country noun verb adjective and adverb all I want you to do is just write three sentences. Combine them, write three sentences. I'm going to ask a couple of students to say that, and we're going to go to our book. Today is a little bit of kind of vocabulary practice because we want to make sure our vocabulary goes up. Uh, if we feel comfortable with our vocabulary, we're good to go. Grammar is easy, I promise you. So it's just the vocabulary we want to, we want to push it a little bit forward. So I give you a couple of minutes. Three sentences only, combine, mix and match, whatever you want to. We're going to check it out. Let me know when you're ready, just thumbs up.
Is anyone ready? Only three sentences, nothing more. Can you see it ready? Thank you. Sean, okay. Little thing, thank you. Charmaine is also ready. Okay, let's start with Tanya Singh. Tanya Singh, let's hear your your uh, sentences, please. Emily is from Japan, and she takes a lot of photo with the breathtaking scenery. Okay, all right, good. Give me another one. Alex is from China and he likes playing badminton with his sister happily. Okay, good. The next one. Sophia is from Australia and she loves to ride a bike carefully. Bravo, well done. So you see, guys, if you know where to place them in the sentence, we say usually the adverb comes at the end of the sentence. That's usually, most of the time. There are some exceptions. But for now, just remember that usually they come at the end because they explain how did they ride the bicycle carefully, okay? So that's the role of an adverb in a sentence. Now, this way, if you know that you have a subject who is doing the action, we have Bob, the country, which you can have it, you don't have to. You need to have a noun, an object. You need to have a verb. You need to have an adjective. And if you add up an adverb, you're good to go. Your sentence will be longer and more powerful. Well done, Tanisi. Charmaine, let's hear your work, please. Hetty is from Germany and she hates to bake cake. Olivia is from Hong Kong and she likes to collect stamps of each country. Nasha is from Australia and her dog barks loudly every morning. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sean, can you hear can we hear yours please? If your connection is good though. Nope. Devin, are you ready? Yeah. Yes, let's hear it, please. Gary is from Egypt. He loves to eat delicious food, obviously. Owen is from Germany. He likes cute animals badly. Okay. Casey lives in China and she loves to buy big houses. Okay. All right, cool. And one more, one more. Who would like to read the sentences? Nobody else? Julian, do you have sentences? No. Okay. Lua Feng, do you have sentences? Yes. Yes, go on, sweetie. Read it for us. Willow likes to wear diamond earrings. Randa's hobby is carving wooden orbs. Ethan hates eating food from Europe. Okay, but you don't have adverbs. It's okay. It's all right. The sentences are good. However, if you put an adverb extra on the top of it, your sentence will be even more powerful, but that's good. 
Okay, guys, let's do a couple of exercises from the book. That was just a little bit of uh, vocabulary practice. You did awesome job. We practice how we can determine them and how we can place them in a sentence. That is cool. Now, as far as I remember, last week we stopped here. So today we need to do a couple of listening activities. We haven't done this one, right? No, we haven't. Okay, cool. Good. I, just, I need to double check. Maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, so if you can please open your books on page 71. Okay. And there will be five questions over here. I want you to go through the questions and try to see if you understand the picture. For example, when is Holly visiting her friend in Japan? Is it winter time, autumn time, or maybe spring time? So just a minute, just one minute, go through each of the questions, see if you potentially understand or picking up or you're thinking of certain things that will be given in this audio. However, only one is the correct answer. So make sure you go through the questions. I will prepare my audio for you. Sorry, teacher, I disconnected just now. That's okay, don't worry. We're gonna continue from the book now. So if you can please open your book on page 71. And we're gonna do a little bit of listening. All right, guys, so I'm going to play it for you. Get ready, you're going to hear it twice. Unit 10, starting off, exercise three. Unit 10, listening, listening. part one, exercise two. You will hear five short conversations. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. When is Holly visiting her friend in Japan? When are you going to Japan? Is it in March? No, I'm going after that, in August. Oh, lovely. What clothes are you taking? Well, it won't be cold, and I'll be back before the autumn. Summer will be lovely in Japan. I know. I can't wait. Two. What is Francis doing on Sunday evening? Hello. Hi, Francis. It's me. Would you like to come to the new dance class with me on Sunday evening? I'd love to, but I can't. We've got friends coming for dinner. Do you remember Sally? Yes, her parents are actors, aren't they? That's right. Well, they're all coming over on Sunday. OK. Three. What time does Lynn need to leave her class? What's the time, Diego? It's half past three. Why? I have to leave early today. Mum and I are visiting Auntie Jane. She's in hospital. Oh, dear. The class finishes at 4.30, doesn't it? I have to go at four. OK. I'll tell you when it's time to go. You don't want to be late for visiting hours. Four. How much is the book they buy? These are great books for Jack. Yes, nice. But this one is £14.30. Yes, and the other is more expensive than that. It's £15.50. OK, let's get the cheaper one. Oh, I only have... Uh, there, £14. It's OK. I've got the rest. Jack's going to love it. Five. Who will meet Lee at the airport? Will someone meet you at the airport when you get there, Lee? Yes, of course. It's a long way home. 
I think Mum's working, but Dad can pick me up. Oh, that's all right then. And the best thing is that we're visiting Grandad on the way home. He lives in the city. We're having dinner with him in his new flat. Okay, I'll play it one more time for you and we're going to check it out. Unit 10. Listening. Part 1. Exercise 2. You will hear five short conversations. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. When is Holly visiting her friend in Japan? When are you going to Japan? Is it in March? No, I'm going after that. In August. Oh, lovely. What clothes are you taking? Well, it won't be cold. And I'll be back before the autumn. Summer will be lovely in Japan. I know. I can't wait. Two. What is Francis doing on Sunday evening? Hello. Hi, Francis. It's me. Would you like to come to the new dance class with me on Sunday evening? I'd love to, but I can't. We've got friends coming for dinner. Do you remember Sally? Yes, her parents are actors, aren't they? That's right. Well, they're all coming over on Sunday. OK. Three. What time does Lynn need to leave her class? What's the time, Diego? It's half past three. Why? I have to leave early today. Mum and I are visiting Auntie Jane. She's in hospital. Oh, dear. The class finishes at 4.30, doesn't it? I have to go at four. OK. I'll tell you when it's time to go. You don't want to be late for visiting hours. Four. How much is the book they buy? These are great books for Jack. Yes, nice. But this one is £14.30. Yes, and the other is more expensive than that. It's £15.50. OK, let's get the cheaper one. Oh, I only have... Uh, there, £14. It's OK. I've got the rest. Jack's going to love it. Five. Who will meet Lee at the airport? Will someone meet you at the airport when you get there, Lee? Yes, of course. It's a long way home. I think Mum's working, but Dad can pick me up. Oh, that's all right then. And the best thing is that we're visiting Grandad on the way home. He lives in the city. We're having dinner with him in his new flat. All right, let's check out the answers. Let's start with... Who should I start with? Adam, number one. Tell us the correct answer, please. E. A is the correct answer. Do we agree A is the correct answer? Yes, it is. Well done. Um, Meredith, how about number two, please? Meredith? Iguan? Yes, teacher. Number two, please. What is the correct answer? B. B is the correct answer. Do we agree B is the correct answer? Well done. Good. Let's see number three. Can you sing? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. B. So B is the correct answer. Do we agree? Cool. The next one is for Olivia. 
Number four. The answer is it A? 14 pounds? Uh, not really. B. B. Thank you, Sean. B is the correct answer. Very well. And then the last one, who will meet me at the airport? Uh, Charmaine? A. A is the correct answer. All right. Now, I'm just going to mark here A because I cannot uh, scroll up my screen because you're going to lose all the answers. Now, I want to know how many of you have five correct answers? Give me thumbs up. Charmaine, Devin, Lua Feng, Adam. Okay. How many of you had four correct answers? How many of you had three correct answers? Me. Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetie. All right, guys. Well done. Perfect. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's talk about the weather. Now, today, the weather over here is a little bit cloudy, but it's very hot, though. It's 29 degrees. It's really hot. Now, in different countries, obviously, in Malaysia, it's always hot, so that's not nice. I don't like summer as much. But we just have to learn certain vocabularies. For example, when, you go to, when we go to a different country, how can we say uh, the weather like? Like, how is the weather like? Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, my pencil. So we're having, it's cold, it's foggy, it's windy, it's snowing, it's hot. I will give you one, the easiest. B, it's hot. How about A, Adam? A, what, what is the weather like here? It's hot. No. Devin, what is A? A is windy. A is windy. So A is three. Iguan, what is, I said B is five. Iguan, what is C? Oh. Pardon? C is cold. Very well. Thank you. Um, Sean, what is D? D, you say? Yes, D. Dog, D. Okay. It's snowing. D, it's snowing very well. And then in the end, we got foggy, which is two. But that actually means, what is foggy? Well, sometimes, and I think this is not happening during the whole year, but maybe like spring and maybe like early autumn or early winter, when everything is like white cast and you cannot really see correctly, you cannot see properly. Okay, so usually drivers do not drive their cars when it's foggy because they cannot see very far away. Maybe they can see like a meter from their car, but not further on. All right, let's take a look. Another exercise will be another listening. However, there will be certain cities like Copenhagen, London, Madrid, Rome, and Athens. Now your job is to write the temperature for tomorrow. Now be careful. They're going to mention the temperature today as well, but we want to know about the temperature tomorrow. Okay? So I'm going to play it for you. You're going to hear it twice. Get ready. Play it. Unit 10. Vocabulary. Exercise 2. Now it's time for our weather report from Europe. John, what's the weather like today in Greece? Thanks, Alana. It's sunny today in Athens and the temperature is about 32 degrees. That's hot. And what's it going to be like tomorrow? 
Tomorrow it's going to be cloudy. It's also going to be cooler, about twenty-five degrees. What about Rome in Italy? Oh, it's cloudy in Rome today, and twenty-four degrees. But tomorrow it will be sunny all day, and about twenty-nine degrees. And what about London? It's sunny today in London. Great. Is it going to stay like that tomorrow? <laughs> I'm afraid not. It isn't going to be sunny tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be cloudy all day, and the temperature will be about fifteen degrees. But it's sunny in Madrid, isn't it? It is. It's a lovely thirty-two degrees, and tomorrow it's going to be the same. Okay. And finally, what about Copenhagen? What's the weather like there? Well, it's cloudy and cold today, eight degrees Celsius at the moment, and tomorrow it's going to get cooler, probably around five degrees Celsius. That's still warm for some. Okay, now over to Rachel and the news. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. Check your answers before we check them together. Unit ten, vocabulary, exercise two. Now it's time for our weather report from Europe. John, what's the weather like today in Greece? Thanks, Alana. It's sunny today in Athens, and the temperature is about thirty-two degrees. That's hot. And what's it going to be like tomorrow? Tomorrow it's going to be cloudy. It's also going to be cooler, about twenty-five degrees. What about Rome in Italy? Oh, it's cloudy in Rome today, and twenty-four degrees. But tomorrow it will be sunny all day, and about twenty-nine degrees. And what about London? It's sunny today in London. Great. Is it going to stay like that tomorrow? <laughs> I'm afraid not. It isn't going to be sunny tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be cloudy all day, and the temperature will be about fifteen degrees. But it's sunny in Madrid, isn't it? It is. It's a lovely thirty-two degrees, and tomorrow it's going to be the same. Okay. And finally, what about Copenhagen? What's the weather like there? Well, it's cloudy and cold today, eight degrees Celsius at the moment, and tomorrow it's going to get cooler, probably around five degrees Celsius. That's still warm for some. Okay, now over to Rachel and the news. Okay, let's see then. I want to know about Athens. How is the weather going to be like tomorrow, Lua Feng? Athens, this one. Lua Feng, do you have the answer? Sorry, I don't have the answer to this one. That's okay. That's okay. No problem, Shermi. Jermaine. 25 degrees. 25 degrees. So, guys, this is 25, and there is a tiny little, like a circle over here. That's degrees, and then we add up C, which means Celsius. Okay? This is how we write the correct temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Thank you, Julie. Tell me about Rome. I don't have the answer. Okay, can you see? It is cloudy today and tomorrow will be sunny, sunny day. But I'm asking about the temperature, sweetie. Oh. Today is 24 degree and tomorrow is 29 degree. 29, thank you. 
29 degrees Celsius. Okay, thank you. Next one, we have London. For London, let's ask um, Olivia. Tell us about London. London, it's going to be 15 degrees. 15 degrees, very well. So we got 15 degrees Celsius. Very well, thank you. How about Copenhagen? Uh, Devon. Five degrees Celsius. Really not five, five. Five degrees Celsius. Okay, perfect. And we have the last one. Now the last one is Madrid. For Madrid, let's ask Meredith. Tell me about Madrid. Who can tell me the next one, please? Meredith, Sweetie, I cannot hear you. Your microphone is not working. You don't reply to me, so I don't know if you're here or if you're not here. Charmaine, tell me the answer. 32 degrees Celsius. 32 degrees Celsius. Very well. Cool. Okay, Yiguan, tell me, what is the weather like now where you are? What is the weather like? Same. Uh, okay, uh, one second, sorry. Meredith says, yes, I'm here, and I'm, I said the answer already. Sweetie, your microphone is not working, so I do apologize, but none of us can hear you because, first of all, you didn't open your microphone, and uh, I don't know if it's working actually because you didn't open your microphone because I have the list on the side and every time when I call someone's name I just see if the microphone is open so maybe you didn't press the microphone can you open the microphone so we can hear you if you can say something to us mm -hmm. say hi so you open the mic yeah go on tell me something Microphone is not working, sweetie. You open the microphone, but your microphone is not working. So I apologize. You said you answered it already, but we couldn't hear that. I'm sorry, sweetie. So your microphone is not working. Make sure you fix that. Okay, uh, Yiguan, tell me again. Sorry, what is the weather like now where you are? I don't know. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. You don't know how is the weather like outside? Yes. How come you don't know? You haven't been outside? Yes. Okay. Can you look through the window and tell me how is the weather outside? Devin, how is the weather like in your city? Teacher, are you asking me? Yes. Um, it's cloudy in my country. Okay, good. Adam, how is the weather going to be tomorrow? And then my rainy. rainy. It's going to be rainy tomorrow. Okay. okay, so when do we use going to? Well, we use going to when we want to refer about something that it's about to happen. Okay, still hasn't happened. It's going to happen in the near future. 
if you can just guys open your books on page 72. So we're having a conversation between Tony and Juan. Let's read it first. Let's ask uh, Charmaine to be Tony and Herlivia to be Juan. I know those are boys, but let's read it. Do you want to come to the park? No, thanks. Why not? Billy and Soraya are going to be there. I like to, but it's a bit cold and it looks... And look at the sky, it's going to rain. I've got an umbrella. Sorry, Tony, I'm not going to leave the house today. What are you going to do? I'm going to stay and at stay in and watch some films. Okay, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look at the going to phrase. It says, um, Millie and Soraya are going to be there. And then there is another one. It's going to rain. What is wrong with my pencil? Why do I, <laughs> why do I scribble like that? Let me just, okay, this is better. Millie and Soraya are going to be there. It is going to rain. I'm not going to, which is a negative form. What are you going to do? I'm going to stay. So usually when we use going to, it's something that it's about to happen in the near future. However, when we talk about future tense, we also use will. I will do the homework. I will, which means it's going to happen in the future, right? But who knows, might not gonna happen. However, if I say, I am going to do my homework now, means that after this moment, maybe in the next minute, I'm going to do the homework. So let's explain this a little bit different. Number one, uh, I'm just gonna read the rules for you guys. So number one, Millie and Soraya are going to be there. The correct answer is A. We use going to plus verb when we have information in the present that tell us what will happen in the future, okay? But the second one, look at the sky. It's going to rain. We're using going to plus verb to talk about plans and intention, okay? So I know it's, it sounds a little bit uh, confusing. It, it is a little bit confusing for me as well when I read the rules. So I'm not going to bother you to go through them because usually you do the rules, but this time I told you the rules because they're not clear enough. But let's practice that. Let's take a look at exercise four. So I think it's going to snow tomorrow. Let me just make it bigger. Okay, how about number two? Good night. You need to use the verb go. Who can tell me this sentence? Devin, can you help me with this sentence, please? I am not going to bed. Why not, sweetie? Why did you use not? To say complete the sentence with not going to. No, 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 no. I ignore that. I'm just asking you. How you can, uh, how you're going to use the sentence over here? How you're going to change it? Because look, not is given in brackets, so it doesn't have to be. Because look, sweetie, don't confuse yourself. Over here you got not, but over here it's a positive one, so you cannot use not. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So tell me about the sentence. What are we going to write here? I am going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. Very well. I am going to go to bed. Now, why do we have double go? Going, go. Let me say that. 
The first one going to is the form, right? Is the structure, how we, send, how we change the sentence. However, the second go is the main verb in the sentence. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to clean. I'm going to cook. I'm going to study. I'm going to go outside. Do you see the difference? So go is the main verb, but going to is a form, something that it's about to happen in the near future. Let's see number three, Charmaine. Susan is very... No, clean. where is going to? Uh, Susan is going to wear her new yep. dress to the party tonight. Perfect, guys. Make sure you're writing this down. So Susan is going to wear her new dress to the party tonight. All right. Number four, uh, Lua Feng. It is not going to rain this weekend. Don't worry. Bravo, perfect. It is not going to rain this weekend very well all right the next one um big one we are not going to walk we're not going to walk perfect we are not going to walk uh Julene, Number six, please. Jolene, let's jump. Jolene. You, you are going to like this. It's brilliant. You're going to like this. It's brilliant. Okay, cool. Let me just write it down. So. You are going to, was it like? Like this. It's brilliant. Cool. Make sure you're having these senses, please. Okay, and let's finish this page because I'm gonna tell you something in a second. Um, yeah, we're gonna practice that later on. Okay, let's make some questions over here very quickly before I let you go. So he go outside. Is he going to go outside? No, he isn't. He's going to stay in. Let's make a question for number two, Sean. Is he going to swim in the river? Is he going to swim? Please write them down in the river. What is the answer? Yes, he is going to. Yes, yes he is. It's enough. Yes, he is. Devin, number three, please. Is she going to climb a tree? Hmm? Is she? going to climb a tree. What's the answer? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She's okay. going uh, hiking. She's going to go hiking. Okay. Uh, Tan Yi uh No, sorry. Are they, yeah, can you see? Yeah, you can go next. Yes, please. Are they going to have a picnic? Yeah. Yes, they are. Good. Are they going to have a picnic? Yes, they are. Write them down, guys. And the last one, I cannot see it. I need to erase this. I need to clear it.
Okay, I'll clear it up. And the last one, uh, Lua Feng. Is it going to be sunny today? What's the answer? No, it's going to be snowing today. Okay, it's going to be snowy today. All right. Now, before I let you go, let me just give you a little bit of um, heads up on something that we're about to do next week. So I just need to make my notes over here. So the week after, it will be 72. Okay, so page 72. Okay, I'm not going to give you a homework today, uh, but you will still have to do certain things. So next week, guys, let me just look at my calendar. Next week, on the 7th, is it on the 7th? Yes, next week on the 7th, you're going to have a mock test. So the next week and the week after, because you need to, uh, we need to do writing, we need to do listening, we need to do reading with comprehension, and we also need to do speaking. So next week, you will have to do writing and listening as well. So my advice for you would be, go through the book, everything we did in writing, just remind yourself, how do we write a story? How are you going to write an, uh, an email? What kind of grammar tense we need to use? What kind of vocabulary and so on? That is the first thing you need to do. Then also go through the book and just remind yourself, do a little bit of revision with the vocabulary. So everything we had over there, all the units, just go through them and just see what kind of vocabulary we had. Did we spoke about houses? Did we spoke about hobbies? Did we spoke about sports? I don't know. So your job is to basically go through the book like this and just see, okay, in unit 10, we spoke about weather. And then in unit nine, we spoke about, what was it? Entertaining, like films and stuff like that. So next week, you're going to do the writing and the listening test. However, the week after, you're going to do the reading with comprehension and the speaking. But we'll see, we might even gonna have some speaking next week as well, depends how fast you're going to end up your test. So this is the second part. If you remember in May, we did one mock test. Now we're gonna do the second one just to see if we made any progress. And I promise you that will be the, the last official mock test you're gonna have in this course. You do know I gave you some links so you can practice, that's fine. But that's why I'm not going to give you any homework today uh, because I want you to just go through the book and just be familiar with the vocabulary that we've studied up until now. Okay, do you have any questions maybe? No questions? No? Okay, cool, perfect. Thank you so much guys for coming to class today. Uh, I know it's a national holiday, so happy holiday to you. Uh, but unfortunately, we just needed to have this class because if you remember in May, we had a week off and now we just need to do a replacement of it. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you are going to have a good evening and I'm going to see you in seven days. Bye, good night. Goodbye, teacher. Bye.